Hi, so I want to demo here the behavior of tracking columns and change data capture. So you'll notice in my table here, there's a bunch of columns, more than three, but I'm tracking three here in my CDC table. I'm tracking address ID, address line one, and city. So let me go ahead and set up that demo. I'm going to enable my table here with just those three columns. And again, the table, the original table I'm tracking is person out address with a bunch of columns here. I'm only tracking the three. So what I'm doing is I'm going to select from the CDC to make sure it's empty. And you'll notice it is empty. I'm going to insert to this original table these values here, 188 football F suite 188. So I insert a one row into this table, and you'll notice in the change capture, I have one row. And the operation is a two here, which is an insert, which is correct. Now I'm actually going to update a column that I'm not tracking. And you could see what happens now. I'm going to hit F5. And actually, that wasn't the right ID. So let me get the right ID, which is 30. So I'm going to change all of these to 30. OK, I'm going to update a column that I'm not tracking. And so one row has been updated here. So let's take a look at that. And you'll notice this column has been updated, the address line 2. But is it in our CDC table? So I'm going to query now for the CDC table. And you'll notice it's not in there. And it's not in there because my setup for that table, I'm not tracking that column, which is why it's not in there. So let's do the reverse here, where I update a column that I am tracking, which is address line 1 here. So let me select that from the real table. And you'll notice that has been updated. And now if I go to my CDC table, you notice it is there. This is the after and this is the before of the update. And um, if I do a delete, of course, it is also tracked. So there you go. That's the That's the demo here. So I actually didn't execute it before, but um you'll notice now that I did execute it. There there you go with the delete being here. So or what could have happened was that the CDC was delayed. But I, I think if I play back the video, I'll notice that I actually didn't execute the delete. Um, so, But everything is as expected. So the behavior here, and what you notice is that if you do not track that column, it will not appear in your CDC table. So, all right, thank you for watching.